What is going on brothers of YouTube? Elijah here, back here with another video. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about this one thing that God has showed me yesterday. Now keep in mind, I'm on, you know, I think of 400 days of Seymour Attention, which I'm truly humble and truly blessed for that. And uh, this one task and this one thing that God showed me can really amplify and really make Seymour Attention for you guys a lifestyle. Because I know that a lot of you guys may be on day 15 or day 30, or maybe even two months, but you guys wanna really get over that hump and really go on Seymour Attention. And this is one, one of the main things that God has showed me. It's one of the main things that God has showed me. So uh, let's go to the rest of the video. So this one thing that God has showed me, okay, it's dealing with the diet, dealing with the food. I'd recommend you guys doing this test, you know, while you're doing this. And I want you to realize, really, you know, really analyze your brain. See, a lot of people, when they're practicing instant gratification, they don't analyze their brain in the moment. You know what I mean? They kind of put that, we have two voices inside of our head. And I, I truly believe that's the voice of God. You know, the right, the right voice, a positive voice telling you, hey, go this route, knowing that you need to go this route, but some people go this route. You know what I mean? So really analyze your brain. So one thing that I got yesterday was some pancakes. Now pancakes externally, they are good, um, but you feel kind of drab right afterwards, especially when you have the butter, you have the syrup, so on and so forth, right? So what happened was, okay, my diet is not aligned with pancakes. They're not aligned. For you guys, seam retention, you masturbating, it's not aligned with your goals. You know, God wants you up here. Now, of course, we've all fallen short of the glory of God, but you want to be up here, right? But masturbation is down here. Okay, and so while you're in the midst of the moment of um, instant gratification, maybe you jacking off or maybe you even eating something that's not aligned with your diet, you know, a lot of people, they kind of get a misconception of just putting it in the back of their mind. But when you really, you know, put that, the back of your voice in the front of your mind, it's like, gosh, man, this is really, this is real. You know what I mean? So I got some pancakes yesterday, okay? And God told me to eat it, right? He told me to go to a and eat it. So I said, okay, I mean, it's not allowing my goal. I don't want to do it. I'm going to feel dragged right afterwards. He says, I want you to analyze your brain right when you're doing it. Okay, so when I was eating the, the pancakes, I was realizing a lot of things. I said, this is really good externally. But right afterwards, how am I going to feel afterwards? It says, you know, I'm going to feel really dragged. So it was really good in the moment. I was eating it with the syrup. I was cutting it and everything like that. Then uh, right afterwards, I felt so bad. And then God showed me, he said, you can either be all in and delay gratification or you can be all in and instant gratification. You have two choices in this lifetime. Now, sometimes in life, you have to discipline yourself. Um, you can't, you have to be very restrictive of your brain. You know what I mean? Like, you can't let external things control you. Okay, so when you say you're gonna do something, you have to do it. You have to be all in in something, okay? Because if you're not all in, you're not telling the truth on yourself. So what I recommend you guys do, I want you guys to do a test. If you guys are struggling maybe on day 15 or day 16, okay? Um, and you guys are, you know, have the urge of relapsing, go do this test. Uh, maybe go go to, um, and I'm, I'm I'm really telling you, I know that I'm doing nutrition and everything like that, but I'm telling you guys this to really analyze your mind, okay? Go to Krispy Kreme, maybe even go to Wendy's. Uh, when you go to Wendy's, get you a large fry, or if you go to, um, you know, the uh, Krispy Kreme, get you uh, a dozen of uh, donuts, and I want, you eat, I want you to eat all of it. Now, why are you eating all of it? And this is a one-time thing. I'm not telling you to do this consecutively. I'm telling you one time. When you do it, okay, I want you to analyze how you feel when you do it and see, is this really the feeling that you want? Is that the feeling that you want in life, right? Because a lot of people are living in instant gratification and they put that voice in the back of the mind, not, and they, they don't put it in the, in the front of the mind. So put, that back, put the back of the voice in the front of your mind and while you're eating it, okay, it's good externally, but I want you to realize, okay, you have to ask yourself, is this, is this, is this the feeling that you want? And most of the time, you really do feel bad. And so you realize, is this the feeling that I want in life? You say no. So now that you've experienced the feeling, now you always want the positive feeling. So now because you felt the, the feeling of, gosh, you know, you felt convicted and you felt bad right after eating it, now you can say, okay, dude, I don't want that anymore. You know what I mean? It's just like with, uh, sometimes even with pain. A lot of people, they don't want to uh, experience, um, you know, cold showers, but it, on a faith level, there's a lot of benefits with it, right? Because they have the, the feeling and they have the pain of taking the cold shower. Now, they don't analyze their brain. You have to analyze your mind in the midst of the things. So you do that, do something really bad, okay? In terms of like eating something, um, don't masturbate, okay? But do, yeah, do, do, do a test with eating something. And I, I guarantee you, man, last time when I ate the pancakes, I said, dude, I'm all in for this. I'm all in for delayed gratification. I don't want to go back because, you know, by the age of 30 or by the age of 40, you know, you have two choices. You can look back at your 20s saying, hey, look, man, I was all in or I was not. So again, man, do this test. And I want you guys to comment down below when you guys do the test and see how you feel. If, it, if this is a feeling that you want, 
the bad feeling, then you have to be all in that. Don't be on the same retention. I'm being dead serious. Okay, this is discipline right here. And if, the, if it's not the feeling that you want, be all in a blood gratification now that you have the feeling of, you know, defeat with that instant gratification, okay? So try this test and let me know how you guys feel, okay? And uh, look, man, comment down below, I would do this test. I would do this test, okay? If you guys are all in, I would do this test, man, okay? But also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're gonna be doing spiritual, mental, physical, and also financial growth in the channel, okay? But look, man, try this test, man. It's a really, you know, weird test that I told you guys to try because I normally, you know, promote delay gratification and uh, on how delay gratification is the right way to go in instant gratification. But a lot of people, that they don't really analyze their mind. That's why some people, they, they, uh, they relapse on day 15 and 16 because they're not really analyzing. They, they don't control their mind. You need to control your mind, okay? So try this test and come back into this video and say, you know, realize your experience and say, you know what, dude, I don't want that experience. I want delay, grat delay gratification. I'm going 500. I'm making the same retention lifestyle, okay? But until then, guys, you guys take care, brothers. Take care. Bye.